Hey, I want to get your views on something Roger Ailes said. He, he of course, is the, the head executive at Fox, and he called Bill Clinton's angry response to Chris Wallace the other day on Fox News Sunday, quote, an assault on all journalists. When Wallace asked the former president why he didn't do more to put bin Laden and al-Qaeda out of business, Clinton accused Wallace of, quote, doing a conservative hit job and claimed Fox is not as tough on Bush. Ailes says Clinton was revealing his hatred for journalists. Now, whatever one thinks of Fox, whatever one thinks of Roger Ailes, I think, Andrew, uh, we all have to agree with Roger Ailes that, I mean, look, I've spent a lot of time around politicians. They hate us. They can, you know, they, they pretend well, the best they, ones they, they don't, you. but they do. They hate you when they're asking questions that you don't want to answer. My favorite moment in that interview with Bill Clinton is where Bill Clinton says people to his political right labeled him obsessed with Osama bin Laden. All you got to remember is the very famous interview with Larry King when he said, I was obsessed with Osama bin Laden. I mean, here's a guy, I don't call it revision of history, I call it a re-Clinton of history. This guy want, not only wants to make up his own legacy, he wants you to believe it. But it's, what's, what's interesting uh, to me, uh, Bill, is that Bill Clinton is every bit as prickly and angry and partisan as he was when he was president. The guy has had six years of basically vacation, making t tens of millions of dollars for doing not a lot, and he's still mad and he still hates the press. What is that about? Well, I don't think he hates all of the press. I think he's angry at Fox News for perpetuating misinformation. And, for, and what he said in that interview was, you asked me a legitimate question, but why haven't you asked the same question about the coal, for example, the attack on the coal? Why haven't you asked the Bush administration about that when you've had the chance and the fact they had it? Whoa, whoa. So there hasn't been a consistency this within, is, within this the is, Fox He world. is such a dog-ate-my-homework kind of person, Bill Clinton. I mean, why? first of all, just answer the question. Who can, first of all, Chris Wallace, and I, I, hate, I hate being I in this position because I hate defending Fox. I just want to know, what, just want to know Fox. what misinformation was in this you interview. Know, but, but That's what I'm say, asking. Chris Wallace asked, gave Donald Rumsfeld a hard time on this exact same subject, but that's not the point. The point is, I don't believe you asked, asked anyone in the Bush administration about the coal. Okay, that that may be true. And again, I'm not here to, to flack for Fox. I'm just saying you're asked a direct question that's not an unreasonable question. Stop whining and answer it. And I don't know why Democrats defend Clinton just to the end. I am so excited for a Democrat to take his place as head of your party. I really am. Just so he can go away, you know, just go to Davos or wherever, move to South Africa or something, and stop bothering us. You know what the best well, part of this is? That you have Yale I don't agree with him on everything, but I do think he did answer that question. And it was a legitimate question. His complaint was that that question wasn't being asked of his Republican counterparts. Right. All right. Bill and Andrew, I appreciate it. Legitimate question askers both. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.